it's the one now that you got it, you're like, eh, I'm fine with it. And then call your crosswind. County traffic says 9 4 Fox Trot and across one mile, going way, run set up 1 7. Here's it. And good traffic there. I think there might be two, so watch out for the other guy. Alright, I have that one coming in. wider than these guys, so they're flying them wider. We're not going to make their mistake, but we're going to come out just a little bit. Just to compensate a little bit? Where's the second guy? I got this guy. So if he loses his engine, he's not making the runway. He's probably not either, so we would not want to be this far out, other than the fact that these guys are just making us do it. So we got no choice then, right? At this point, not, not a lot. We'll, we're just going to try to keep ourselves in here. We could make it now if we had to. I'll throw out here, I don't know. Hopefully he gets in closer. I can't turn until he's no, he needs parallel to with me, right? Down. Yep. Oh, I've got downwind, or uh, final traffic. So we're in a tough spot. Uh, yeah, so we're looking could for other places to land. I could land on the reservoir, maybe. <laughs> land in this field below us, maybe. Circle around and come back into it. But anytime we turn back this way, we're just going to have wind in our face. We're not making it. Yeah, Call extended left base. Beers County traffic says the 94 Fox Drug extended left base, runway 17 Pierce. Because we're way out here, we don't want somebody else cutting inside of us because he didn't see us. And then give me kind of this altitude. Don't let me descend too much because I'm way the shit out of here. Out here. This up here. Turn back. And, and we're kind of close, but we're, but we're not. Uh, so this way the wind is blowing onto the top of your wings, so it's going to blow you back to level, right? Right. So yeah. I'm not as worried on this turn. It's that one that I'm letting the wind underneath my wing, that's, that could be the worst one. Um, but even that, it's not too concerning usually. Alright, so we wouldn't want to add flaps for quite a while because we know we can't make the runway right now. We have the baseball field here, we can land on that probably. Diagonally, it'd be, be ugly, but it'd be fun. We can land on Meridian, which would be insane. Be bad. But we get a YouTube and I have my video on, so whatever. That's might, choice. Get, might get some hits on that. Yep. And then at this point I'm feeling high enough that I put in one notch of flaps. Carpet would come out. Carpet, yes. That and then control. that was two, but I just put in oh, one. Sorry. So now I have to push forward to hold that 70, because I want to keep 70 as I come in here to land. I don't have to put in full flaps to land, but I'm not too worried about it today. Hold this thing down here, and I might put in one more notch of flaps. Get it down to 30. And then I might back my power out to 1500. Because, I, I mean, it's still right where I want it for the sight picture, right? It's about a third of the way up my dash, or up my view screen. 342, expediting my uh, structure. Here's kind of traffic system, 1294 Foxtrot. Final 17 Pierce. At this point, I'm gonna put my last yeah, notch of flaps. Four cool flaps. And I've still got a lot of power, right? But we're still coming down a pretty good sight picture here. We're about 74 yeah, knots, 75 knots. Miles. But I want to have this extra speed because we can feel it's blowing us around a little it bit. It is, yeah. And then I'm just using a little bit more right rudder here as I come in. And I still haven't reduced my power because I'm barely making the runway. Right? Exactly. But now I can probably back it off to 1100 here. Once I'm in ground, in fact, I might add some power if I need it. Just but to I should get us be down. fine. Just so I have more time, so I don't have to be, I'm just not plopping down when I get here. Then slowly build it in here. Build that nose up there, keep it up there. There you go. And then back your power out, now you're on the ground. And build that back pressure. Break is required. Good. All right, we'll go fix it here and clean it up. Yeah, just focus on your landing. Don't worry about that. Okay. Something still bad could happen here, so this is, we're not done till we're off the thing. Being one step ahead is good to know where you're going, but don't, don't start thinking about it. it. Think yeah. about what you're doing and then, you know, just have an idea of where you're going. Okay. That's got me into trouble before. Bet. Not this way. 
Cool, I'll let you do the other, next one. I'll step your controls. I wasn't, I didn't really help much anyway. It was reassuring. Uh, probably Except for me too, that's why I was going <laughs> on. Just to make sure there's something going on. Oh yeah. Alright. So, lights? Lights first. Camera, or car beat. Then leave your power at a thousand, otherwise you can pick up some car bites here. Right. Okay. And then flaps up. And don't turn those on if you have pulse light on. Because they kill your pulse light, so try to leave them off. But then pulse light comes off. So this is the only one that's coming on right now. Because okay. it over, these overpower the pulse light. Take him out from the way and let it close, Pierce. Lights, camera, action. It's still on. Okay. Seven nine Delta clear the active first. Looking at my crosswind over here if I have any. You know, at this point I'm gonna be turned this way, but once I go straight, I'll probably just put it Roll straight it back with a little here. bit. A little bit this direction. Eh, that looks kinda straight up the pipe. So I'm just gonna lay it out here just a little bit this way because it looks like it's blowing that way a little bit. So I wanna drift into it a little bit, if anything. Green. Green, green, airspeed's coming alive, looking way down the runway. 50-ish, I'm building back pressure, 55, we should be taking off pretty quick. Looking for that 73 pitch, so it's right up here, so I just bring the trees, the cowling up to the trees for our view. Because I want to gain as much altitude as possible, if I do have an engine out. Uh, C-17 high into the right, no factor. is going to be up here a little bit once we're above the trees. You can check the uh, the temperatures aloft too, see if they change. You know, if you get temperature inversion, that's going to be a nice choppy area. If the winds are 29 here and they're you know, 16 above, then you've got something there. It's going to be a wind shear area. And then like a bump like that, correct for it. The other little ones, you know, not as much. Not hey, Joe, so you can go back to the line. Come up on our 1200. Nice and easy, just in case. Yep, just feeling it before you start going, because we know the wind's coming from the south, pushing at us. But this turn and the next one could both be kind of iffy. And as long as it's a steady wind, it's not really pushing you, usually pretty good. Pushing keep us just it that way, yep, so you can almost just keep it going. so it doesn't slow you down. So as soon as it goes in, I, I want to just maintain 80 as I do it, but just push forward as I do it. And then, since we have a lot of wind out here, we're probably going to just turn for it here. This is earlier than we normally would turn, but it's going to work out fine. And then I'm bringing my nose up just a little bit here. I'm looking for that 70 knots. So bring that nose up just a bit. There you go. Rolling out level here. And the wind's going to be pushing me this way, so I want to go a little bit further. So I'm going to keep that airspeed. Watch that airspeed. Because you got the winds out here, right? They're gusting, yep. so they'll take away 10 knots pretty quick. All right, let me make our turn for final. Checking the wind socks, looking for animals, judging our distance, want our numbers kind of where they're at. Looking pretty good. I bring my nose up a little bit, though, to 70, and I'm a little bit too close. So I'm going to put in one notch of flaps. I'm going to drop my nose a little bit. I'll put in one more notch of flaps because I definitely got it made here, still, four, right? Five, six, seven, four, seven, four, one thousand, one hundred, and here uh, I'm going to decide because that last one's really going to drop me down. So I'm feeling pretty, pretty good, good with right it, now. but I might just leave it where it's at for a little bit. 
for 70 and we hit the... And then just kind of let the, the wind just kind of do what it wants to do and you just be gentle on your controls and be good. And then I do one more notch here. One more notch. Full flat. And then we do have a gust down low, so we're looking at that windsock a little bit. Pitching for our 70 still as it brings us in here. And you can probably back the power out a little bit here to like 1100. We don't want to go crazy with it because we still want to have extra power here. Oh, there we go. Using that aileron. And if you're just feeling like it's just going to go, then, then you can use a little bit of power to do it. And then start building that pressure as you back that power up. And then brake as required here once you get closer. No more than needed. Brake straight ahead. Once you're done braking, make your turn. If you do the skidding turn, then it, it does that and you get that skid. It's always straight ahead, then turn. And you can use a little bit of brake on the turns, but it's minimal. Cool, good. I didn't, I didn't help. Excellent. We'll do one more and I'll stay even more off. I got a little bit on them, but... This is like... You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> Alright. Not the best day to practice landings, but it's, no. it's good. good. Good experience. It is. Alright, so... Lights. Lights. Car beat. Car beat. Flaps up. Absolutely. After landing checklist is complete. It is in there for the checklist, so you can use it. I have to refer to it again. And might not have the lights in it, but it, it might have it written in. But until you kind of get it, it can be good to use it. The other side of that, though, is if you always use a checklist, I don't remember this stuff. Oh. I just do the checklist. Just do the checklist. Mindlessly, sort of, you know, since I don't memorize anything, I just do the checklist. But do it, learn in the flow, and then, you know, use the checklist, learn the flow, go back to the checklist, and then you can just forget the checklist a little bit. But as you switch between planes, it's gonna, you know, things change. Oh, uh, that's well, Air Force habit too. If you have an instructor, an evaluator on board, you always have your checklist with you and you refer to it constantly. Because if you don't, they'll start asking. And and don't question. Don't fly to pass check rides. Fly that way all the time. That's why they yeah. want you to do it? They've learned through blood <laughs> that, <laughs> that humans forget stuff easily. Maybe we do. Or do the or we do things in the wrong order. You can still mess up using a checklist, but it, at least it's minimizing Take off flaps. Just the, the blatant thing. Patterns clear. Uh, lights, camera, action, and we'll make a call here. So, Pierce County traffic. So it's a nine four Fox Trot taking off runway one seven. Left close, Pierce. So strobe lights, pulse light. You can even put a nav lights on this low light, but all good. And then keep your power up there to thousand. Yeah, just about every. It's clear. Make sure we check the other way, because could be some idiot shooting the approach or something. Who knows? Not using his radio because he's still on with approach. Who knows? Anytime you have a GPS approach coming in like that, not one going this way. Watch out for that way. Always a factor. And then the winds are kicking a little bit here. I'm almost probably going that way a little bit with it. I just get myself a little bit to think about it. No brakes. Peter no on the full board. Full power. Green, green. Airspeed's green, coming green. alive. We're looking Down for 50 ish. Starting to build some back pressure at this point. Looking for a little bit of aileron to hold me centered. And I'm off. And just kind of adjusted as needed to hold this straight center line. And you should be looking way out at the trees at this point. Bringing my nose up to them. And now I'm using kind of peripheral vision off to the side, or your way, you know, to keep me going straight. I got a little bit of right rudder in there, like always when I'm climbing. And I just kind of swim. It'll move you around a bit, but just kind of go with the current to some degree.
as you come around this way because the wind's getting behind you and pushing you. In this case, I point out just a little bit towards the east here. So I'm a little bit crabbed out because last time I got pushed in, right? Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to the runway. There's my 1,500 feet. My airspeed's still out there, so I leave my power, make my call. During my call, I back my power up. Pierce County traffic, Cessna 94 Fox Trot on the downwind for runway 17, Pierce County. Hold it to 80. 80. Flaps in, zip in the range. Push forward as I do it to hold 80. Which should give me this sight picture right here. I'm not looking at the side for it. 150 at 7 knots. Peak gusts 1, 2 knots. Visibility still the same. And there we go. Yeah. It is bucking you around a little bit. Looking for 70, so I'm starting to bring my nose up a bit. It'll be that steep. And I'm looking to not bank over 30. And light controls, so light blood on your hands. No reason to crush it. Make your turn. For final. Keeping that 70, so I'm going to hold that nose where I've got it kind of. Come around here. Looks good. This is my most dangerous turn, so I don't want to overbank. If I'm slow. If I've got the airspeed I've got, I'm pretty safe. Okay. Then I'm on final. Pierce County traffic system, 94 Fox Drone on final. Runway 17, full stop, Pierce County. And I wouldn't change a lot yet because, I mean, we're we're barely making it at this power yeah. setting, right? I feel like we almost need to add power, but almost. if I don't put the flaps in, I should be okay. Pierce County traffic, 90 But if you have to add power, add it. And then if you get a real gust that goes away, you lose that 7 knots, it's going to drop out. Add power. And, you know. As needed, and I use pretty decisive. It's happened, that's got to go now. Yeah, I mean, it's, you might need full power. I would, too much is not bad. All right, looking pretty good, so I start putting in those flaps. And like, again, like I said, if we don't get them in, you know, if we get much closer, we just won't use them, but I'd put in more. First kind of traffic, some of the Holding 70, so I need to push forward pretty good. Two, and I've got it made now, so I can back out a little bit of power. But I want to keep that airspeed, so I push forward a little extra. Bring my nose up here, just a little bit, because I don't want to swoop in here, because I can stall right there, hear it? Right. And then slowly bring your nose up, and then use your aileron. You want to be using all of it. Hotel is bring that nose up higher, good, hold it right in here, good, good, good. good. Out of the and then back that power out as I bring in my yoke all the way back. Excellent. Good. Yeah, so that transition there, I don't want it to be too steep, because I could, I could stall the plane right there, no matter what my airspeed was. That's an accelerated stall, basically. And, well, I see my critical angle of attack. It's going to plop on the ground hard. And it can happen a lot with uh, with disgusting or being on the backside of the power curve, guys will do that. And they're like, well, why did it stall? Well, it's because you were too slow and it's too slow and too high. And it, it just plops out. It, has, it can't well, fly. The one, the older guy, he's, he said, you need to fly one. low yeah, yeah, yeah. on the good days I didn't help so that you know what it looks like on the bad day. So you know, you know you know what the shoreline is. That you've only got half mile viz. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm right here at this point. You know, they do they do you know, three miles viz, but it still looks pretty bad. Yeah, I bet. All right, right let's do this. Pierce County traffic. Cessna uh, nine four Fox Trot. Taking off runway one seven left. Close Pierce County. Lights, camera, action. Oh, I just kind of snuck in there, didn't I? Nope. You saw him? Yeah. Okay. I saw him leaving. I missed him. Sim Can you believe that? Good. Low yeah. situational awareness, I guess. No, you're doing pretty good. I mean, a lot of these guys, they start out with this. You know, they're seeing a little tiny, <laughs> just this little tiny window of, of things. I don't even see the edge of the runway when they're taking off. It's all just... Okay, so looking for some green, green, or she's coming alive. Yeah, green, the crosswind, green, it's crosswind. whatever you think it might be. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's going that way a little bit. I like to give it a, a guess where I take off and then I adjust once it lifts up right here. Whatever it takes to kind of get me out straight. I look out further, bring my nose up a little bit. 
Use the taxiways, use the trees, don't want to go that way. A lot of you guys don't even see the trees and just keep drifting that way. Well, let's go this way. <laughs> I'd rather go this way than that. So like now you're going 65, now you're going 70, you know, so it, it's taking it away as it goes. So. And so you can extend this one a little bit if you wanted to, so you can keep going to like 1300, because you know that other way is just going to be stupid short, and we haven't even made it to the end of the golf course. Or we normally do. 13, make a new turn. Judge of the wind. There it is. <laughs> you know, so that just rolled you out of a 30 degree bank. The wrong way, too. The wrong way, yeah. So who knows what the winds are doing up here now? They're swirling. And, yep, I just keep going. You can feel it kind of catching you, and you can feel yourself being pushed this way. Flaps, push forward Keep to, the 80. to hold the 80, and that's about 80 right there. Even though we can't see the horizon in front of us, but looking over my shoulder, making my turn early because I got on the right, wind. wind. Pierce County traffic assistant 94 Fox Trot on base runway 17 Pierce. Goes up because you're a little too fast because you want to dive down much more. You're looking to be at 70 when you roll out here. Nine miles to the south at 2,000 feet. Inbound for landing and yeah. sideways. Yeah, it's make a turn. And we're even grabbed a little bit. It's still blowing us south or north. And I'm still looking old to 70. Pierce County traffic system 904 Fox Code on final runway 17. Full stop, Pierce. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for 70, so I'm just going to bring my nose up kind of right about here at 70. And then... Yeah, well, we'll keep this for a little while. Yeah, I mean, you could, the first two notch flaps won't hurt you too much, so you could put in one now, you know, one, and then don't let it speed up too much. Oh, that was two. But was it? Oh. Okay. So now you got the two notch, and you felt all the extra drag. It came on faster than we expected. But now we're just pushing down here. And... We probably got it. Should I do the next notch of flaps? Right, full flap. Leave your power up there at 15 for a little bit. And I'm pretty so, happy with it unless we got a ton of wind. So I back my power up to about 1100, 1200. Ready to add power if I need to. Pitch it down for that 70. Bringing my nose up here gently. Let's see how we don't have that round out like we did last time. Yeah, this is and nice. Slowly bring your nose up and just keep building it up. Oh, don't let it flare. If it balloons, add a little power. Just a little bit. And then keep bringing that nose up, and then set it right down. So if it starts to go, it just comes up a little bit, then that's going to get you up here, and then you're just going to kind of flop out at the end. So if you bump in a little bit of power, it gives you the extra chance to reestablish and set down again. It's almost like a do-over. And then all the way back Sixth on this chance. Guy. Break straight ahead. And turn. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't... If it's bobbling or doing this, then I just add a little power and that'll smooth all that out and give me time to get it where I want it to be. I want to land the plane. I don't want to let it land. There's somebody going yeah, control at all times. Yeah. Are we on time? We good? Right. Yeah, you were. Okay. 
Pierce County traffic, Cessna 904 Foxtrot, taking off runway 17 left, close Pierce. Camera, camera action. action. Fuel, and I always look down that one and cool. check my trim as I come up. Okay. One thing I haven't been doing either is trimming. Which is okay. I usually leave my trim set for downwind. You know, unless I've got a lot of forward pressure or something. If I'm pushing, you know, more than a two pounds or so, then I'm going to trim it. But I usually, you know, if it's uncomfortable to do it with my fingers, then I'm going to trim it. Way too much power back to power up. Gentle turnaround here. Okay. All excited. Then go. All right. Green, green. building a little bit of back pressure here just so I can feel the wind across the elevator. I start to build more right here because I'm looking for the takeoff here pretty quick. Keeping it straight. Pitching my nose up for the horizon now that I've got the airspeed even with the gusts. Holding that 73. Traffic signal on 7, number 2, Pierce. Pierce traffic, 7300, Mike Foxtrot, left down, one 17, Pierce. So, there we are, perfect spacing. Yeah. And a little bit of and crab in there. Come back in, though. It's okay to have no okay. crab this time, because we don't mind being pushed in again. Okay. We went a little wider than we want to be. up there, he's doing the same thing I was doing all day today with the flaps, looks like. Pretty high traffic coming along. It's pretty on. Eight is carrying crosswind for me in the traffic. Pattern. Oh crap, you stay in the pattern? Jeez. Oh. Not expect that, he's hauling ass then. He's twin, he goes back to us. He's way the fuck out. Yeah, we're going to have to extend this a little bit, too. I mean, he's way the beep out. That's fine. You too. No, you too. Oh. All right, car beat. Car beat. Power back. Hold. In the flap range, one. Not to flaps. Push forward to hold 80, because now you're going to 70. Gone like that. Which isn't that bad, because that gives a little more space on him, so it goes far out. But so as soon as you lose it, you lost it, right? Foxtrot, turning final, runway 17, Once he's past your wing, make your turn. Do it, just do it. We got that Seminole coming up on us, I think. Roger. Bring your nose up a little bit, because I'm looking for 70 at the end of this turn. And I'm going to go a little bit that way, because I know that the wind's pushing me this way. You can see it right now. Pushing you away from that road. So keep going to we're pointing kind of the Fredericton plane almost. There, that's good right there. Roll out. Level here. Just hold this for a second. And you can see we're, yeah, we're, going. we're still moving pretty sideways yeah. right now. You know, even though we're pointed completely a different direction. Okay. Make a turn to final. Watch your 
airspeed here. This is your dangerous turn kind of thing. You get low and slow, and you know, bang, stall horn. You pull back a little bit. That's done. it. Done. I'm uh, too low. Uh, so you can go ahead and put in one notch of flaps and let it balloon you. Cause you got enough airspeed here, it's just gonna kind of bring you up. Do that. How you got an extra white now? Yeah. And then put in one more. Hold my airspeed here pretty good though, and probably add a little bit of power. Cause we are too low for this distance, and we won't be able to put any more flaps in. Here's kind of traffic. Ten mil. Three one eight. Turn it down one to base. Runway one seven. First guy traffic system, wind shear for Fox Drive, final 17 Pierce. And then I'd add a little more power here because we don't want to get a wind shear down here where we're low because I can't even put in my flaps right now. And then now I dump in another notch. One more notch. Push forward. Power back. About 1100, 1200, somewhere in there. Just enough. And then a little more power if you want. There you go. That kind of smooths you out. Yeah, that's and nice. Bring your nose up gently. Keep bringing it up. Don't let it come over sideways. Oops. So we need an aileron at the same time because we're getting blown that other way. So I don't want it to drift me as I'm landing. So I don't want to just. You were just kind of pulling back. You just need to do this. A little bit more to the left aileron. Yeah. So it's it's your those micro adjustments. So as it's pushing you, I need to put in a little bit of that as I pull back, so it stops moving sideways and stays straight as I set it down. And that was more of a crosswind. It's kicking in a little bit, so that was good.